duophonic distribution is the modular toolbox that allows a single monophonic sequence to be alternated between two oscillators, creating two-voice polyphony. It does this by using two precision analog sample and holds, along with a flip-flop style clock divider. Initially on startup, the flop logic output is high, while the flip logic output is low. A gate at the input causes the flop logic output to go low, while the flip logic output goes high. Another gate causes the flip to go low and flop to go high. These are internally normalized to the two gate inputs on the two sample and holds and allows you to trigger them in an alternating manner. By applying the same sequence to both sample and hold inputs, we can sample that sequence in an alternating manner and distribute it throughout our patch. To demonstrate this, I'm going to set up a simple monophonic sequence. I have a sequence coming from Ableton Live through this MIDI to CV converter. The pitch sequence will be applied to the volt per octave input on our oscillator. And the accompanying gate pattern will be applied to this trigger input on our envelope. The output of our oscillator is going to go to an input on this low pass gate. And our envelope is going to open up this low pass gate. It's a pretty straightforward monophonic sequence. It's a little busy. The notes could be given more room to breathe if we distributed them among two different voices. To do this, what I'm going to do is take that sequence, put it in the input of the first sample and hold, which is internally normalized to the input on the second sample and hold. Our gate pattern is going to be used to trigger the flip-flop style clock divider. The output of each sample and hold is going to go to the volt per octave input on each oscillator. And I'm going to connect the output of our second oscillator to the input of a low pass gate. Now, the output of the flip flop style clock dividers are going to be used to trigger these two envelopes in an alternating manner so that there's a new envelope with every new note sampled and the output of that second envelope is going to be used to open up our second low pass gate. Now I'm going to bring in the first voice and we're only going to hear every other note from the sequence we heard just a moment ago. And as I bring in the second voice, we'll hear all those gaps in between those notes fill in. You hear those two voices overlap, which I can emphasize by opening up the envelopes a little bit. It's a little subtle. To really emphasize this, I'm going to drastically lower the tempo of our sequence. And I'll open up the envelopes even more. The sample and holds also feature a momentary track input. And when there's a logic high for the track input, the sample and hold output will perfectly track the signal at the sample and hold input. You can think of it as a bypass switch for the sample and hold circuitry. This DC offset for mass will be used to hold the momentary track input high whenever I want. This stackable cable is going to molt that DC offset to both track inputs. Now when I turn this knob high right here, number three, you're going to hear both voices going to unison. You still have the envelopes being triggered in an alternating manner because of the flip-flop, but you can hear that the pitches are in unison between the two of them. 
now it's back in two voice polyphony. You could make this patch a little more interesting and more dynamic by incorporating another clock divider so that every certain number of notes the track input will go high and the voices will be in unison. After another certain number of notes the track input will go low and the two voices will go back to being duophonic. We can emphasize the duophonic characteristic of this patch by modulating the timbre of our two voices. I'm going to take this LFO coming out of Ableton through our MIDI to CV converter and use it to modulate the timbre of our wavetable oscillator. And every new note is now a slightly different timbre. And I'm going to emphasize that even more by taking our pitch sequence and using that to modulate the timbre of our oscillators. And we'll go back to unison. The polyphony can be easily expanded by incorporating more duophonic distribution modules which I will cover in a future video.